Okay, I'm going to do a little demo on the um, Epworth organ. And. Okay, here we go. This won't work. This will be nice. So I'm starting out on the main eight foot set. The, the, um, the so called specialized, you know, the. the reason that they named this the way it did because it's the Epworth pipe tone organ. Um, so this is the pipe diapason and the reed pipe stop. And they have specially made reed cells and um, different different style, different scale of reeds. <laughs> Let's do the demo on the sounds of the stops one by one. Here's the reed pipe. So this is the main front set of reeds. And so it's a really lovely 
love this sound. It's a very warm sound. This Vox Angelica is the soft stop of it, so it opens the mute a little less. And the same on the bass end, this says dulcet bass, and that's a, just a little. So this is a soft version. A really, really nice stop. Um, I was wondering how this was going to work, because it has deep, deep reed cells that I've never seen before, and it used actually wide trumpet scale reeds from here up to here, I guess. From here up, it's just normal scale reeds, because trumpet scale reeds never did go above the top 16 foot F. Anyway, so, so it uses those neat reeds, but they have a lot of voicing curve in them, and they're deep in the reed cells, which is why they're so round. It's really a very, very, very full sound. Then the next is the flute, the four foot set. This, I, I wouldn't have called this flute, if I was putting the stop names on this, I would have called this principal because it's it's really, it's really much brighter sound than you'd commonly have with a flute. So the contrast is really very strong. So there's the extremely round eight foot, and you add the flute. It's such a, with just the two stops, it's such a rounded sound. It's such a brilliant, the flute is brilliant and the, the reed pipe stop is so round. So then the next stop in the treble is the Cremona, which is a set of what you'd normally say there's the Celeste reeds. So there's... So your two eight-foot stops couldn't be more different. Turn it. What is that? Oh, I hit Celeste on. Duh. In contrast with that. It's an extremely... It's a really nice, brilliant sound, and it works with the Vox Humana really well. And so does the flute. And then the combination stop is called Celeste, which opens the... Um, opens the celeste reeds and opens the reed pipe reeds but not as much it's sort of like having the uh, the soft stop on so it lets them be flat and then the the celeste reeds are tuned just a little bit sharp but not so sharp that you really notice it but then in combination you have this very i don't know it's uh, the word of Use it, it's like it's, I don't know, suave or very nice sound for the Celeste on this. And, um, and then there's, like I said, there's the soft stop called Vox Angelica, which is just a little bit muted. And then the full stop and the treble coupler, which works from F, and it just couples the next highest note as you go up. So it plays the high tire and it has Vox Humana. In the bass now, oh, the four foot stop has a slight, a, a soft stop. Violina as opposed to viola on the thing. Um, so it has two two foot stops in the bass now. Now this two foot set, the two the two two foot sets that make up the aeolian and here's so you hear they have the built-in vibrato effect because they're out of tune with each other so the aeolian 
it has two sets of reeds. Now, one of the sets is available to pull just by itself, and that's entitled Perfection. Now, Perfection was actually a, a, a sort of a brand name for a, a, just a narrow, normal scale, but narrow reed. And sometimes Perfection is a treble stop, in which case it's an eight foot. So it's basically the same octaves of reeds, it's just put up higher, because this you know, because this is two octaves lower, so, you know, middle C, instead of being here, middle C is all the way down here on this. So the perfection reads, as I cleaned these, and was working on the voicing and the cleaning, I noticed, that, wow, the perfection reads have completely straight tongues, like, um, like, let's say, for instance, a harmonica. So they're they're re on the reedy side. Now the second set of reeds that makes up that it creates the aeolian. Those reeds are very string have the typical string voicing on them with the voicing curve. So they are much they're smoother and not as reedy. So what happens is when you pull the aeolian harp, it again it opens the perfection mute the tiniest amount just so that they'll speak. So like that instead of like that just opens them that much and then it opens the other set that are voiced so you get a really different quality um, on the Aeolian. The Aeolian has a really good sound to it to me. And, that's, and then, then the sub bass is. The sub bass is rather pungent and it's 17 notes, so it goes from the C up to the E. So, anyway, that's the tour of the, the stops on this. Um, oh, it's got the regular full organ lever as, as expected. Um, so anyway, there's, um, there's the 1916, I found the date, it's 1916, there's the 1916 Epworth, uh, chapel organ.